Hey guys, fall's finally here in Pennsylvania. You know what that means? Time to take some nice fall photos. I'm gonna go over five tips that's gonna help make your fall photography experience a lot better. Okay, so for tip number one, it's gonna be proper planning. Now, if you don't know this already, every state has a fall foliage map. And what that map's gonna do is tell you basically when peak foliage is gonna be. Right here, you see my state, which is Pennsylvania, and there'll be a key showcasing when peak foliage will be for each part of the state. Now, why is this good? So you can essentially utilize this map and plan out when approximately will be the best time to take time off or make actual plans to capture this beautiful fall that we see right behind us. All right, let's move on to tip number two. I'm gonna suggest setting a custom white balance. Now, if you don't want to do that, go ahead and Google that. Every camera is a little bit different, but I'm going to recommend a custom white balance of anywhere between 5,500 Kelvin and 7,000 Kelvin. See, now what that's going to do is it's going to make all these beautiful fall colors just that much more vibrant. You don't want a cool white balance because it's going to, it's going to make all these tones, all these nice oranges and reds, all blue. So making your white balance just a tad bit warmer than usual is going to really make these colors pop. Now tip number three, this is one of my personal favorites. You see, it's a cloudy day, overcast, maybe a slight drizzle. And while that might not make the colors more vibrant to your naked eye, it helps like eliminate the highlights you see in these trees. When the sun's on these trees, they look amazing, but that's gonna make you have to properly expose for a specific shot. And you're gonna lose a lot of color that you might see in the background. So having a nice cloudy day where it's like one big giant soft box of light, it will soften up everything and it's gonna help you capture all of the colors you see around you. Now for tip number four, as you can see, there's a lot of fallen leaves everywhere. And I think those are an amazing subject to incorporate them in your shot. Really the best way to do this is using a nice wide angle lens, like this 1424 Sigma. What you're gonna do is slap this baby on your camera, get nice and low to the ground, and angle it up at a small pile of leaves, helping make your shot more three dimensional, adding layers to your composition, and you get kind of creative this way as well. You know, here's a random, very important tip, especially if you're not used to this type of thing. Wear orange when you're hiking like this late in the season, because you don't know if there's gonna be hunters around or what have you. How oh, cool Junkos. Sorry, distracted. So wearing orange, very important tip for any photographer wanting to go out into the woods during this time of year. And lastly, for tip number five, use a tripod. A tripod is just an all-around good landscape photography tool. It's gonna help make you like focus on your composition more, taking more time to set up your shot and think about it. As well, it will eliminate any camera shakes. That way, if you have to do a little bit longer exposure to get the proper exposure, you're not gonna get motion blur from your camera shaking back and forth. Remember, when using a tripod, always use a timed shot. You don't wanna screw up your composition by you know, manually hitting the shutter every time. So if you're using a timed shot, you can back away from the tripod. It's gonna eliminate any tripod shake and camera shake, and it'd be the best way to capture your photo. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope these tips help you out. If they did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you're planning to use any of these tips at all and you're gonna post them on Instagram or whatever, can you please leave a link down in the description of any of the photos you take via your Instagram or whatever method you wanna share them with? I'd love to check them out. I'll leave you a comment and let you know what I think. Anyways, until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.